Welcome to Money Matters with Veronica Conway. Welcome to the Money Gym. I'm Veronica Conway, your money coach. The Money Gym is where we develop your money muscles. Money muscles are the thoughts, habits, and behaviors that lead to financial fitness. In this segment, know your value. One thing that I observe with entrepreneurs, especially with people of African descent, is that they don't have a clear picture of their own value. In other words, they don't know how to charge what they're worth. I have a secret for you. You don't want to be cheap or affordable. You want to be valuable. You want to be able to clearly articulate your goods and services in terms of the benefits that the customer gets from utilizing you over your competitor. If I charge $10,000 for my consulting services and it yields you $75,000, then I didn't just cost you money, I just made you money. My fees were an investment in a profitable outcome for you and your business, which is worth it to you as a client. It's money in the bank. You can also set this up as a revenue share. If your client is short of cash, then set up your fees on a contingency basis based on performance. Many movie stars have gotten wealthy, not from taking a large fee on the front end, but taking a percentage of back-end profits. You must be able to quantify the return on investment that your products and services provide, whether it's time or money. Actually, time is money if you're an entrepreneur. Also, know the value of your own time. I once coached an entrepreneur about how he was spending his time. We calculated that when he was at the top of his game and really performing, he could generate $75,000 an hour without much effort based on his strengths and talents and the business relationships he had. We got clear that every hour that he spent doing $45 an hour work was costing him $75,000. That was the opportunity cost of him not knowing his value. I also coached a CEO who was capable of generating a quarter of a million dollars per hour when she was on her game. And every time she climbed down her organization chart, she was missing the opportunity to create a quarter of a million dollars. So if she was really doing the job of the HR director by getting unnecessarily involved in personnel issues, she was spending time doing $70,000 a year activities instead of focusing on a quarter of a million dollar income generation. Sit down and quantify your value in terms of the outcomes that you've created, in terms of what you could generate if your time was optimized, and if you were delegating lower cost activities.